Making news around the state tonight, members of the California Democratic Party are moving ahead with an effort to block support for some Democratic lawmakers seeking re-election. This is in response to the universal health care bill that died in the legislature earlier this week. 17's Ashley Zavala has the latest. Progressives are pushing ahead with their effort to block Democratic Party support from some state lawmakers seeking re-election this year. It's the first ever statewide effort of its kind. We expect the party chair, we expect our elected officials to do what they have committed to do. And when they don't, um, we are going to hold them accountable, even if the party won't. Elmer Shergill is the chairman of the Democratic Party's Progressive Caucus, the party's largest caucus in California. The group, specifically targeting those who were prepared to reject a bill that would have eliminated private health insurance and set up a single-payer state-run health care system in California, also known as CalCare. Although the bill never reached the assembly floor for a vote and Democratic lawmakers avoided putting their positions on public record, Shergill says the group still has a sense of who did not support the bill, but he did not say who or how many incumbents the caucus will attempt to block. A pretty good idea of where a lot of members were. Um, leading into the vote, you know, still uh, many question marks, too. In an effort to put a stop to the progressive endorsement blocking effort, Shergill says Democratic Party Chairman Rusty Hicks withheld delegate information from the caucus ahead of this past Wednesday's pre-endorsement deadline. In order to begin blocking endorsements, progressives needed signatures on a petition from 20% of those who will vote in the endorsement election. The party is pulling out all the stops to make sure that they hide information um, so that the incumbents that you know, failed to act um, on behalf of the people of California uh, are not criticized for. But a spokesperson for Hicks said Friday candidates did get access to the delegate information and caucuses could have also for a fee. Hicks did not comment further on the progressive push. Delegates of Democratic Party are interested in one thing, having Democrats win elections. Stephen Maviglio is a Democratic strategist. So I think ultimately, like this bill, it will fail. And the, the tactic of trying to bully legislators by doing this is something that even people that are for this bill really don't like. How, if at all, do you see this affecting the party just going down the line as we look toward November? What some on the left forget is that legislators represent people. They represent their own district. They don't represent the party platform. And to be effective, they'll have to win elections. And the progressives have not done that. Members note the party endorsement process is complex with more steps ahead on the still long road to election season. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.